Okay, the next step once you've got the battery installed is to take your harness inverter assembly and come over here to the battery. And you're going to want to hook up your battery terminals to the battery. Start with your positive lead first and position your battery terminal like this to where this terminal is almost up against the nut. And using a crescent wrench or other adjustable wrench, tighten down your positive terminal. Making a good connection to the battery is really important if you want maximum power out of your inverter. Next, take your negative terminal, tuck it underneath your harness. You may experience a small pop or arc when you first took this up for the first time. And that's what that's doing is that's basically charging up the capacitors inside the inverter. Also make sure your battery switches off before making your connection to the bat your second connection to the battery terminal. Snug down your second terminal using like I said a crescent wrench or another form of adjustable wrench being really really careful never to allow any metal objects to connect between these two terminals. Next thing you do is take your battery connection or your um, your inverter assembly now that you're connected to the battery. Tuck your charging cable down into the space on the end that's provided and position this to where it's in line with with the uh, wire input feed through and get your first tab lined up. Rotate your terminal, your battery box where the tab on both sides are lined up, push down until they click. At that point in time you're ready to plug in your uh, battery maintainer trickle charger to an AC power outlet. What this does is this will charge your battery and bring it up to where it's, it's fully charged at full capacity. What you'll see on the speed charger maintainer is an amber light that will come on. When the amber light comes on that means it's charging. When it goes to green it's at full capacity. You can leave this plugged in indefinitely. It will not overcharge your battery. At this point in time you're ready to actually use your inverter. At first when you turn your inverter switch to on you're going to see a red and green alternating flashing light. It's going through its diagnostics. When it goes to solid green it's actually ready to plug in devices like your refrigerator freezer, your entertainment center, lamps, laptop, tower, other devices like that. The inverter will automatically shut, it off, shut off at about 10 and a half volts. When you're running devices and it's discharged the battery down to 10 and a half volts, the inverter light here will turn red as it's approaching the end of the battery capacity and then will eventually sound an audible alarm telling you it's time to turn it off that it's no longer able to make power. When you're done using your inverter, simply unplug devices from it, turn the switch to the off position.